Hello, BYW students. It's Mr. O'Sullivan. Today, we're going to be looking at lesson 9-5 using trigonometry to find a missing angle measure. Today's learning target is I can use Sokotoa to find a missing angle measure. Um, in trig, we need to be familiar with the inverse trig functions. Do not worry. You're going to be using your calculator to evaluate inverse trig. Um, inverse trig is only used to find your angle measures. Um, you don't use regular trig. You use inverse. For instance, we say that the inverse of sine is arc sine, um, how you say it verbally, but on the calculator it's expressed as sine to the negative one. So if you're using calculate 84, you're gonna hit the second key and then sine to make your inverse sine. What that means is the angle whose sine is the number x. So to find your missing angle, if you're using Desmos, you're going to be actually writing out arc sine like that, okay? Um, so to find the missing angle, angle, the first thing you're going to do is label your hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. So let's actually go through this procedure as we do this problem right here. So if I look at this image, I want to find alpha to the nearest hundredth. So this is another Greek letter similar to theta. Um, it just stands for an angle, and to the nearest hundredth is two decimal places. So step one says label your sides, so hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. If you look, our reference angles right here, this is what we want to find. This is our hypotenuse. This is our opposite. And this is our adjacent. So we have our sides labeled. Step two says, determine your trig function, Sokotoa. So when I write out Sokotoa for this question, I can see that I'm dealing with my adjacent and my hypotenuse. So I'm dealing with cosine of theta. So I can write down cosine of alpha. If you want, you can just make the letter A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. If you look at this image, my adjacent is 13. My hypotenuse is 20. So now if I want to solve for A, here's our next step. We set up our equation. Now we're going to use inverse trig to solve. So when I say inverse trig, the way we're going to make this look is <clears throat> raise each side to the negative 1. So now we're going to do A equals cosine to the negative 1 of 13 over 20. That is going to be the procedure you do for every single inverse trig problem. So I'm going to do second cosine 13 over 20 hit enter, and I get 49.458. Remember, I said I wanted to round to the nearest hundredth. Look to the right. That 8 is bigger than a 5, so my 5 is going to be a 6. So I can say A is 49.46 degrees. And that's my final answer. And that's how you use inverse trig to solve for a missing angle. Now, find the angles to the nearest tenth. So if we look down here, I want to find the measure of angle B. Remember, the first thing we do is we label our sides. So 42 is my hypotenuse. 40 is my opposite. And last but not least, I have my adjacent. Now I need to figure out which part of Sokotoa am I dealing with. If you look, I have information about my hypotenuse and my opposite, so I'm dealing with sine. So my equation setup is going to be sine of b equals opposite over hypotenuse. We know our opposite's 40 and our hypotenuse is 42. And now I use my inverse trig. So B is equal to inverse sine of 40 over 42. We type that into our calculator. And we get 72.2 degrees. And that's our final answer. Let's go on to our final example. First thing we do is we identify our hypotenuse. Our 
across my right angle. Now we identify our opposite. And then last but not least, we identify our adjacent. Now we figure out our trig function. So, so katoa. I have information about my opposite and my adjacent, so I'm dealing with tangent. So I can say tan of C is equal to opposite over adjacent. So I can say tan of C is equal to my opposite of 14 over my adjacent of 29. Do your inverse trig, and I get C is equal to tan negative 1, well, arctan of 14 over 29. Now I do second tan, 14 over 29, hit enter, and I get 25.8 degrees. And that's your final answer. If you have any questions, email myself or Ms. Calarundo. Have a great day, ladies.